Good morning, student. Uh, in this session, we are going to see about uh, Turing machine. What is Turing machine? Turing machine is a machine. It, this machine was invented by Alan Turing. In the year 1936. Okay. So, uh, the definition of Turing machine is, it is an abstract model of a computer and uh, this machine is used to perform compute integral function like addition, subtraction, multiplication and uh, some strings was present in a language, this machine tells that accept or not accepted. Okay. We will see the model of Turing machine. Turing machine consists of tape. This is called tape <coughs> and uh, this tape consists of a number of cells. Okay. So in the uh, this tape uh, consists of infinite number of cells. That is the thing. Infinite number of cells. And uh, let us take the input L equal to 0011. How this input is present inside the tapers, this will be present like 0, 0, 1, 1. And one more advantage of Turing machine is, it consists of infinite blank symbol in the left side of the tape, as well as infinite blank symbol at the right side of the tape. Okay, see, infinite blank symbols. This is not a finite, infinite. It's maybe 100,000 infinite. It, this is also a not finite, this is also infinite. So infinite number of blank symbols are present at the um, left side and right side of the uh, input. Okay. Let us take 0, 0, 1, 1. This uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. Right side also we have infinite blank. Left side also we have <coughs> infinite blank symbol. And uh, it consists of finite control. Finite control. So this finite control which can which is having finite head so this finite head this is finite head this finite head which is uh, which points the first input of the symbol this is the initial position of Turing machine once again this is the input symbol this is input uh, input is present inside the input tape and this is finite control and this is finite head this finite head points the first input symbol of the uh, input that is uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, which is points the first input symbol that is 0. Clear? Right. Let us take one small example. The model uh, should be present like uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. Here blank, 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 blank. So the initial position, it's a Q0, initial state. So the initial position, this Q0 is points to the initial position of that word that is string w that is 0 okay like this so this is the model model of turing machine can you understand right now every machine uh, which has some parameters for example we know about finite automata machine it has four tuples and we know about uh, pda that is push down automata it has seven tuples similarly this Turing machine is also have uh, seven tuples that is seven parameters so what are the parameters these parameters are very important to run this machine so what are the parameters are <coughs> m equal to capital Q sigma rho delta q0 b and f Okay. So Q which is stands for state and sigma that is input symbol and this rho which is tape symbol and this delta transition function transition function and this Q0 which is starting state starting state and this B that is blank symbol 
I told you in the model, blank symbol is present left and right side of the Turing machine, that is input tape. So, so this B stands for blank symbol, blank symbol, and F that is final state. Uh, let us see if a car, let us take an example of car, um, if you want to run the car, some parameters are something important like uh, engine is important, uh, steering is important and uh, something, uh, some parameters are important. Similarly, if you want to work out this Turing machine, if you want to run this Turing machine, these parameters are important. Clear? Right. So we know uh, Q is a finite set of state as we studied in a PDA similar to that Q. And sigma, we know about it is an input symbol. And uh, rho, in PDA we studied that is a stack symbol. But here it is a tape symbol, right? So we can say it's a tape symbol. And delta, so each and every machine delta function should be different, right? PDA and uh, finite automata, and this is Turing machine. So delta function is different. This delta function only tells that how the machine is going to be moved from one state to another. Clear? Okay, and this Q0 it is a starting state and B is a blank state and F is a, sorry, uh, B, B is a blank symbol and F is a final state. Okay, clear, right. So now I am going to um, solve one problem that is one input string, how this machine is going to be accept uh, that particular input string in this Turing machine. Okay, we will see the simulation model. Let us take one string that is uh, language that is L equal to 0 power n and 1 power n where n greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So how we can write this uh, language into a string that is in word is L equal to assume n equal to 1 that, that is power of the string. We know we studied we know about that power of the string is 1 we will place it 1 0. Power of the string is 2, we will, uh, the string may be 2, 0. Power of the string is 3, the string may be 3, 0, etc, etc, right? Very clear, right? Similarly, if we use 1 as uh, n, n equal to 1, then 1, 0, and n equal to 1, that is 1, 1, 0, 1. And if you give the value n equal to 2, the string may be 0, 0, 1, 1. n equal to 3, 3 times 0, 3 times 1, etc, etc, etc. Okay, why I am put etc etc is n may be some different value. n equal to 100, we have 100 zeros, 100 ones. The thing about this, uh, see the concept is 0, 0, 1, 1. So equal number of zeros and equal number of ones. We are going to design a Turing machine for this particular thing. Equal number of zeros, equal number of ones. Clear? So uh, listen very carefully. Uh, when the control or the pointer comes to this one, it should know no other zeros at the back. Clear? See, I will, I will explain you very clearly. Uh, I will, first I will explain the concept for this particular input string. Initially you know um, Q0 is pointer to the pointer that is 0, right? Initial position. Okay. I will explain you the concept very clearly. Listen. This particular 0 want to be replaced by x. Okay, so the, for this particular zero, corresponding one should be there at the right. Okay, because the string is equal number of zeros, equal number of ones. Clear. So for this uh, zero, it is replaced by x, and the control want to be moved right till it reaches one. Why? Because uh, equal number of zeros, equal number of ones. So for this zero, one should be there, right side, and for this zero, another one should be right side. If not equal number of 0, equal number of 1s, we cannot design the Turing machine in this particular way because for this 0 there may be 1 there, for this 0 there may not be 1 there. But for this condition, equal number of 0, equal number of 1s, sure in this language, sure uh, 0 should be replaced by x and the control want to be moved right till it sees the 1 and the 1 should be replaced by y. Okay, this is the concept of Turing machine for this particular string. 1 should be replaced by 1 and whether I want to move the control right side or left side. The thing is I want to move the control left side because this 0 I clearly replace by 1 and again I want to uh, move the control to see 0. Now I want to move the control 
uh, from this y to this x, okay, because I actually I want to uh, replace this 0 by x, but I am moving the control this 0 to x, because when it reaches the x, the control uh, machine knows that no other zeros are left side, clear? So what I am doing is, uh, when it reaches the x, I want to go for next to 0, searching of next to 0, so it reaches the 0, I want to replace this 0 by x, this is round 2 started, okay, see, this is round 1, this is round 1, again, round 2 is going to be started, this is round 2, clear? So in round 2 also, what I am doing is, I am going to replace this by x and this by y, okay, so now what I am doing is, I am searching the next 1 and uh, control find out the next 1 after this y, so I am replacing this 1 by y. And again, I want to search whether we have any um, zeros there. So, control want to move the first x. Okay, no need to go this x because when it reaches this x, it knows that no other zeros are left side. Clear? Right, okay. So, next I want to search, but there is no zero. So, control points the pointer in y. Right? So, when it reaches here, it knows that all the zeros are replaced by x and all the ones are replaced by y. So, what it want to do is, it want to go accepting state. Right? So, now the control uh, should know there is uh, no other zeros. So, if there is no other zero, then uh, it should be no other one at right side. So, it is accepted. It reaches the final state. So, on control, we want to move to the first blank. And then, the second blank, it is the, say it is, is accepted. It is accepted. Clear? Yeah? So, this is the concept of the language that is L equal to 0 power N, 1 power N. Okay. okay, so in this session, uh, we studied that uh, what is the concept of uh, the language uh, Turing machine is going to be accept the language L equal to 0 power n and 1 power n. So next session, we will see that uh, um, we have a transition function and we, have, we can write the transition table and we can write the transition diagram, right? So next session, we will see the transition function, transition table and transition diagram. Okay, thank you.